Watching KPIX5 Campaign 2018 Election Special. Well, welcome back. Let's take a closer look of what's facing you this time out. That's right. We're going to turn to some of the propositions on the ballot. Prop 7 on the state ballot mm -hmm. would give the legislature the power to change the dates of daylight savings time and actually even make it year long. But this actually only works if the federal government also changes the law to allow it. So if Prop 7 passes, we will still be springing forward and falling back for several more years at least. All right, but it is one of those that grabbed the legislators' attention and that also has grabbed the state's attention. Our KPIX5 Survey USA poll shows that there's a lot of support for the idea, at least among likely voters, with 58% saying they're going to vote yes, 21% saying no, and 21% saying they're still undecided. And Proposition 6, that one would repeal a gas mm. tax increase. And if it passes, California will have to look elsewhere to pay for road repairs. Yes, on six. Backers of Proposition 6 held a rally today in Santa Clara. They say Prop 6 is not about stopping road projects. We all want better roads. We all are upset that our roads are congested and they are not properly maintained. Carl DeMaio is a leader of the Yes on 6 campaign. We've already paid one of the highest gas taxes in the country for good roads, but what did the politicians do? They have stolen our money year after year. When Arnold Schwarzenegger was governor, the state borrowed billions from transportation funds to pay general fund expenses. According to the Legislative Analyst's Office, as of 2015, the state still owed the transportation funds $900 million. During the bad times, there's a tendency to raid special funds, and that has been true for transportation funds. And, you know, most of those funds, I understand, have been paid back. Jim Wonderman is the president of the Bay Area Council. His group supports the tax. He says we can't change the past, but we need additional money, and there are new safeguards in place to protect these funds. I think we're at a kind of an emergency here. Uh, anybody who's out on the road every day can tell you. Uh, and here's an opportunity to actually do something about it. And with regard to these new funds, uh, there's a lockbox. They have to go into transportation. Now, this was put on the ballot uh, by a group supported by John Cox and, uh, and some of his supporters. It can't Republicans. hurt Republicans. Oh, and the, one of the ideas was that it might bring out a bigger Republican vote since they are opposed to the gas tax, legitimately opposed to it, and that's one of the reasons they put it on as well. That's right. They're also, also opposed to it. And one of the things they say is that it's regressive. It really punishes people who live farther and farther from work. And when I spoke with Jim Wonderman, he told me that while the gas tax is something that the Bayer Council supports, any future tax increases to pay for infrastructure may have to be a little different. And now, it's not that the uh, legislature is taking this lying down. They are out campaigning to save the gas tax everywhere you're turning these days, in the, especially in the Bay Area. You're seeing work projects being done. That's a way to try to get the vote out as well. So, With big signs that say, your gas tax dollars at work. <laughs> so keep your eyes open on that. There's another measure.